Antoine Griezmann. The Frenchman has been in all the news headlines as of late with a possible transfer during the next transfer window to Manchester United. The Atletico Madrid striker has been incredible for his club and if Manchester United want to persuade him to come to Old Trafford, they're going to have to pay big bucks for Antoine Griezmann. Today guys, I've got 10 things that you probably didn't know about Antoine Griezmann. If you do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you go ahead and click the like button. If you are new to the channel, click the subscribe button and make sure you turn on your notifications so you get notified every time I do upload. Number 10 too short. Griezmann's footballing career didn't really start off well off the bat. Griezmann was actually rejected by a number of French sides for being too short. One of the biggest clubs in France, Lyon, were one of the clubs to actually snub Griezmann when he was a youngster. Finally, he impressed scouts from La Liga. Real Sociedad were interested in Griezmann and he did join the club as a youth player in 2005. He's gone on to be an incredible player and actually it was sweet revenge in 2013 when he actually eliminated Lyon on from the Champions League. He didn't just score any goal, he scored a spectacular over-the-head kick to knock them out of the Champions League, eliminating the team that didn't want anything to do with him. Number nine, he loves computer games. When you're a football player, you are spending time in a number of hotels and you are traveling on planes throughout the year. Coaches and players, it could be quite boring, to be honest, to constantly be traveling, but Griezmann likes to occupy his time by playing computer games such as Football Manager, FIFA, he really is into those football games. Number eight, only because of injuries, he was pushed into the first team. When Real Sociedad did take interest of Antoine Griezmann and they did bring him into the club, he wasn't really their main priority. It was several injuries of teammates allowed him to actually break into the Real Sociedad side during pre-season. The first team, he was not expected to play. He was the top goal scorer, earning him a regular training session with the first team he was playing in the second. With him regularly scoring goals in the second, he was able to train with them. And on his debut for the first team after there were several injuries, he actually scored and he did actually start in the starting lineup in a 2-0 win. And with him impressing the manager, he did go on to be a mainstay in the starting 11. Number seven, religious tattoos. In today's age of football, you see a number of players having tattoos with already covered Neymar, Messi, that is just a few players to name a few who do have tattoos, but Griezmann's tattoos actually have a religious meaning. Antoine's upper arm has a portrait of Jesus, while his right arm features a rosary with clouds and stars. With that, he also has the initials of his parents tattooed on him, and Antoine Griezmann is extremely religious, and his tattoos are proof of all that. Number six, clubbing ban. In 2012, Griezmann was banned from representing his nation, France, at any level. For some reason, his suspension did come when he did skip training camp so he could hit a Paris nightclub with some pals from the under-21 squad, and Griezmann has learned his lesson since then. Number five, a call from Diego Simeone got him to Atletico. When Griezmann was at Real Sociedad, he was thinking about going home to France, but it was one man who changed his decision to keep him in Spain, and that man is Diego Simeone, the Atletico Madrid manager. Griezmann actually went on to quote, I had the boss on the phone. He motivated me and said the club really wanted me. Atletico is still the champions of Spain. I needed a club like that and a coach like Diego Simeone to progress. I always demand intensity in training. That's my style and I like it. As you can tell from that quote, Griezmann is really happy at Atletico. Number four, wear SpongeBob SquarePants underwear. Well, yeah. Number three, one celebrated a goal by pretending to drive a car. We all know Griezmann's main celebration, but this was a celebrated goal, which is quite iconic. There was a car parked out on the running track when Griezmann scored for Real Sociedad, sensing his opportunity to do something fun. He called on his teammates to pole into the vehicle. When the French forward jumped into the parked car, he would pretend to actually drive the car for some added comedy fun. And I love seeing football players do something like this, do something funny, do something to have a laugh. And Griezmann was having a laugh after he did score the goal and he did Quite a cool celebration with that. Number two, models his game on David Silva. Griezmann has gone on to admit that he models his game on David Silva. Manchester City and Spanish man actually influenced Griezmann in the way that he does play. Griezmann's gone on to say that it felt like David Silva played in a different sort of style, but at least he has one thing in common, that he has a very, very nice 
left foot. And number one, his idol. Griezmann might model his game on David Silva, but the French forward looked up to one man, and that man is David Beckham. Griezmann looked up to Beckham when he was at a young age, and the French forward actually plays in a long sleeve shirt in honor of his idol, David Beckham, who is obviously now retired. Griezmann also claims that he wears a number seven shirt as it was the number most famously worn by Beck. So because Beckham wore it, Griezmann has gone on to wear number seven. And let's be honest, Griezmann is wearing that number with pride, doing so good over at Atletico Madrid. But will he make the move to Manchester United? It's been the biggest headline for about a year or so now. Will the deal go through? We're going to have to wait and find out. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to go ahead and click the like button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I'll see you all tomorrow for another video.